Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is May 1st, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, so we had a nice day here at the Oil Trading Group and winning trade room. If you take a look to at the price ladders there at the very top, you see uh, we were positive 37 ticks on the uh, ES and 11-ish ticks on the, uh, uh, sorry, 37 ticks on the CL and about uh, well, 112.50 on the ES. And so it was a nice day in here. We had a really good discussion, though. The reason that I'm talking to you here today is we had a really good discussion in the trade room on how to manage stops and some of that process that goes on when you're trading. And I was hopeful to let you listen to the entirety of that discussion, but the trading room recording software that I was using ended up having a corrupted file. So I was unable to provide you with that. So I'm going to give you a kind of a synopsis, a recap of some of the things that we talked about. But first, I need to give you a little bit of history here. Uh, Scott and Winning Trade Room had a very specific way that they were looking at the world as it came to managing trades. And we had a specific way that we were looking at it here at the oil trading group. And while this has been a very easy transition for both of our groups, there has been a little bit of, you know, when anytime you blend two families together, if you've ever gone through that process, there are some growing pains that go on as part of that process. And so there's a little bit of language issue and and, and growing pain that was uh, that, that goes on. And and one of the way one of the real focus points or pressure points on this uh, on these growing pains is the fact that uh, as the at the oil trading group I have this tendency to want to hold on for these bigger targets and while that serves me very well if you are untrained in the art of holding on for bigger targets it is a very painful thing to sit through sometimes and yesterday was a really good example today I'm going to give you an example of how it would have worked out better going the other direction all right so the point of this discussion, which it was in the trade room, is there is only a certain amount that, that someone like myself in a trade room, only a certain amount of direction that I can provide to you. And at some point, you have to work in the things that we're talking about into your personality and the way that you trade and how you pull the trigger on your account. Because again, after all, at the end of the day, it is your money and your account and you have to be comfortable pulling the trigger. And so we highly recommend uh, that you are comfortable with what you're doing and understanding the risks and all of those things that are involved in trading. But at the end of the day, again, it is important and paramount that you understand how to do that and what the consequences of your ideas are. So this is the this is the trade room. This is the software that we use to do some back testing. I just want to show you a few examples here of how you can uh, take a look at how yesterday performed. So this is yesterday on the ES. So if you were with us yesterday on the ES, you know we got short right up here at around 81. Uh, in fact, it was right up here around 79, 75. We were looking to target all the way down here to 61. And eventually the market comes all the way down. In fact, it goes a little bit deeper here, right? It goes comes down, it goes a little bit deeper. But what you saw happen here, if you were in the trade room yesterday, you saw me get in short here. And it goes from 79.75 down to 77, so almost three ES points before coming back and uh, taking me out of break even. Then you see me get in. I think you saw me get in short again here, right? I think you saw me get in short again here. And I was looking actually for this deeper target. Now, while the software is set up here to say you made seven and a half points, I actually was looking down deeper at this structure target. The market then comes all the way back up and takes me out at a point, right? And so if you were in the room yesterday, you saw me go this deep here, seven, the seven and a half points before it comes back all the way up here and takes me out at a point. And if you're not accustomed to seeing those kinds of things happen to you, right? So what we basically, for all intents and purposes, we basically only got four ticks out of this move, 79, so 78 quarter would have been about right here. All right, so I know that's not the actual exit, but just for the software purposes, it's going to let you kind of do that. So you get out about right there. Um, anyway, the market then comes all the way down to this target that we were holding on for down here at 71 quarter. And then really you wouldn't have put up with much heat going back into that. So one of the things that I showed people today is that you have the ability to come through. And when you get this reversal signal like here, right, you could take it out. And that's really what we talked about today. So we employed that strategy in the trading room today. And there would have been another opportunity to get short here, uh, there, right? And you could have been taken out again uh, if you're looking for that 
point down here, you would have been taken out there. Actually, this is the way this is set up. It's going to give you that full target down here. And so first thing I want, the first thing that jumps, should jump off the page for you is that there are a ton of really good opportunities using this software, right? Against our levels. There have been a ton of excellent opportunities against these levels. And then again, you could come back here. You would have had a short here, all right? You would have had a short there. And again, when the market was directional like it was yesterday, uh, again, here's a really good example. So instead of being taken out up here at break even, all right, you didn't quite hit a target. You could have taken it off right there, all right? And that would have been, instead of being taken out at break even, then you would have had the opportunity to pick up three and a half points on that transition bar. So that was what we were talking about uh, today in the trade room is, is employing that transition strategy going into it. Now, today on the CL, uh, we did the same thing. Let's see if I can get the CL to come over here. We did the same idea on the CL, and there were opportunities that you could have had that maybe you would have been shaken out of today. So let's go through here, and we'll remove the drawing tools, and I'll tell you, I'll, uh, I'll show you the, an example of what I'm talking about. All right, so we come back over here, calculate. All right, so we'll come back into this area here. And so here's a really good, here's a really good example of that. So we ended up getting short up here. Uh, actually, we ended up getting short up here around zero, zero, like around in this area up here today. Uh, if you take a entry there and you said we're just going to hold on for 30 ticks then you would have had a 30 tick opportunity but when you had this what looked to be a three bar reversal red yellow and then you would be looking for the bar to clip out over the top here and that's exactly what happened in the trade room you we weren't sure that this was going to go back and, and rally you ended up taking a 12 13 tick target instead of 30 ticks right the market continues to rotate around and again, you would have gotten in short here. And if you were holding on for your 30 tick target, this would have hit your 30 tick target today all the way down here. But you could have transitioned yourself out here, right? If you said, look, that's a three bar pattern. I'm a little bit nervous about that. You transition yourself out there. And instead of making 30 ticks on this trade, you made 14 ticks. But here's the point. It doesn't matter what strategy you employ. You want to hold on for those bigger targets. You want to, when the bars look like they're going to transition you out, then you do the thing that is comfortable for you. Again, you have to remember it is your money and your account, and you have to do the things that are right for you in order to be successful. And you have to be consistent. You have to consistently apply those things that you're looking for. So I showed you an example today, um, and I got a lot, of, a ton of positive feedback, by the way, on Getting out of the trade and managing it really tightly, getting out of that trade when it's starting to work against you, right? And when you get that three-bar pattern and it starts to come back and, and you get that three-bar pattern reversal, then you get out. Uh, or if you want to speak in OTG language, then you trail stop behind in some other mechanism and you look for these bigger targets to be achieved. Whichever way you do it is okay. You just We all need to understand that there are certain uh there's a certain amount of impact that happens positively and negatively on any trading decision that we make. So what I recommend for you to do is to go look at your charts, put in the screen time, use the tool for that. This tool is going to provide you with a ton of really good opportunities. In fact, as, as I'm just sitting here right now, I'm watching how there was an opportunity here short at one of our levels. It made it all the way down to the extension here right at the end of the day. Then at this extension area, you had another long opportunity into the level above. There are just so many opportunities that are really high-quality opportunities that it doesn't matter how you decide to manage it. You just have to decide to manage it. We had a really nice trading day in here today. I expect that when we come in tomorrow, we're going to have another nice trading day. Who knows, right? But that's the expectation level as we sit down every day is that we are going to uh, do things to uh, benefit and be successful. And so that's, again, I just want to share that idea with you here today. It was something that we shared in the trade room. And as I'm kind of tinkering around, look at the really cool opportunities uh, that the ES would have given you uh, chances with today. Just tons of cool opportunities up here, uh, especially as we get, I feel like I don't have these all the levels on. There we go. And that's the levels I want right there. Um, again, you had this really nice opportunity up here. They got you short. You had a chance to get in a second time. And I mean, these are, we're talking 41.75 down to 36 half, right? That's five point ES moves. These are big, massive moves on the, uh, that this uh, entry system is identifying against our levels. And you have the real good ability to hold on 
uh, for some of these targets when you're using our levels like we teach you in here in the trading room. So again, uh, the point of today's video was to show you that there are two ways to go about trying to exit the trade. Come into what I'm encouraging you to do right now with this video is come into the trading room and watch us do it. And we'll talk about all these scenarios and we'll trade and hopefully have a little fun doing it. And so it's educational. There is you're going to learn something. You're going to you're going to uh, be made aware of things maybe you haven't seen before. And at the end of the day, you're going to be enhancing your ability, uh, providing you with some ability to enhance your trading opportunity. So having said all of that, um, I hope to see you in the trade room. And uh, until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.